What's up, guys? I'm gonna start doing the daily dose of pit bull. Um, I'm, I'm gonna switch it up for you, Bruno. Yes. Can you kill each other more quietly? Um, so first and foremost, guys, you gotta start training your dogs before they're six, seven months old or a year old. Um, that's one of the biggest things I see is people miss that critical time of imprinting on the dog. If you have the privilege of, you know, breeding them yourself, you need to start as soon as they open their eyes, start doing shit with them. And if you're buying a puppy, don't go buy one six or seven months old. You need to get him to eight, 10, 12 weeks old. So you're going to have to figure out how to motivate your dog. All right. Now, this is where the method is going to stay the same no matter what, but your technique is going to change. Technique meaning what you use for a reward. So, or to motivate the dog. This particular dog uh, didn't really like playing tug a whole lot. She liked pulling on the leash. Um, her owner looked like a sled coming down the road when we met them. And so since she was highly treat motivated, food motivated, that's what I used for this dog. You know, I marked the behavior I wanted and rewarded her. Now, this is the one and only time I worked with this dog. You know, we boom, 30 minutes, we fixed her problem. I, I had to teach her the marker word, which is what I'm doing now. It's basically just a feeding frenzy. Um, but it's good shit, good shit, good shit, good shit, good shit. And then, you know, if the dog tries to do something wrong, I give a slight correction. Comes back to me, it's good shit, good shit, good shit, good shit. So the, the dog thinks, hey, this is good shit. I'm going to keep doing this. And it's really that simple. I mean, dogs are really smart, but at the same time, they're very simple-minded. However, my dogs here, you know, if I come out here with a, with, with a hot dog with these dogs, yeah, sure, they'll take it. But if given another option, their drive is stronger. Um, so they're more motivated to run, bite, chase, things like that. Um, so for these dogs, I use tug and, 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 and little fighting games as a reward. Now, I know I've said this at least a dozen times before, but just because... The dog's biting on a sleeve does not mean I'm training it for personal protection. No matter what I'm going to teach the dog to do, I like to be the one that is the prey. Um, and by putting the sleeve on, I, I'm able to control what the prey does, and I'm able to teach the dogs a lot more fine-tuned detail. Um, and, and I'll get into that in a separate video, but it's uh, that's a lot more complicated. You have to understand the basics first. Um, you got to mark the behavior and then you reward it in this case since I'm using the bite as a reward the dog has to control itself um, there's times when I lay the sleeve on the ground it's not allowed to bite it it's not allowed to try to take a bite before I'm ready you see they get excited now this isn't the first time we've done this at first it's really sloppy and if they do take the reward without earning it you have to stop the game and you, you don't make it um, you don't make it like a punishment. You just don't let them get anywhere with it. Don't let them do anything. Boom, the game stops. We reset. Over time, you'll build control. Now, what I was saying about people getting these older dogs is this uh, this white and brindle colored dog that's on my left arm, he's seven months old. And you see that you know he can control himself. He'll bite on command. You'll see that he outs on command. You'll see that he doesn't take the bite when he's not supposed to. You've seen my other videos with him out around my chickens, loose, off leash, around other dogs. And I only got him at three months old, and I, I missed a very critical point in his life. Um, but at seven months old, this is the level that this dog is at. Um, so you got to start working with these dogs real early on. And most of the time within certain parameters you can push a dog in one direction or another i don't like food treats because you can't give your dog but so many food treats in a day you know what i mean it's bad for them so i try to push my dog to <clears throat> to love to bite on that rag or you know on my fingers or or whatever that it will bite on at first and, and it grows to like biting which, you know, for what we use our dogs for, you know, legally speaking, everybody knows I don't condone, you know, dog fighting or any shit like that. But anything we use these dogs for, for the most part, we want them to bite shit because that's what they're good at. And uh, 
if you if you think that that just letting the dog be wild and you get good results out of them like that I just wish I could show you what happens if you build those genetics it, it, it if you can imagine what the dog is naturally the way you guys are training him now now I, I'm not saying everybody there's a lot of people out there doing good shit so don't think I'm talking to everybody but y'all y'all know who I'm talking to man come on you don't 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 go tie your dog to the dog house and go out and have him bite on a spring pole and a flirt pole run on the treadmill and think that's you know that Dude, you can do so much more. You can develop the bite. Guys, did you know that you can have a soft mouth dog and you can build his bite force? Did you know that you can have a dog that does not have high prey drive and you can build that prey drive? The, the, there's small details to this training that matters. And uh, I'm going to start doing videos pretty much just like I used to do the how-to videos. I'm going to do one with the flirt pole next because that's pretty much where I start with capping, prey drive, and all that shit. The flirt pole is one of the most misused toys uh, I see going on, a training device, whatever you want to call it. Um, and, and you'll apply that concept to pretty much anything you want to do with bite or motivation. So keep an eye out. Flirt pole's coming next.